Welcome to Tech Shorts, a collection of hints, tips, and tricks to make you a more effective ServiceNow developer. I'm Chuck Tomasi. In this episode, I'm going to discuss how testing can help ensure a high-quality application, increase your development velocity, and decrease upgrade time. I'm almost ready to release the safety application to production, but before I do, it needs to go through testing. I'm going to use ServiceNow's Automated Testing Framework, or sometimes referred to as ATF, to create functional tests that can be run again and again. I go to Automated Test Framework Tests and create a new test. I give it a descriptive name and a bit more information in the description field to be kind to my future self or other developers who come along later and save the record so I can start working on the test steps in the related list. I click Add Test Step to get started. Here's where I tell it what I want to do step by step. First, I'll impersonate Luke Wilson, our safety manager, to ensure I'm running this as a non-admin persona. That's it. I'm ready for the next step. If I were to document this in a manual test process, I'd have at least a half a dozen steps detailed of what to click and type and validate. In step two, I'm going to open the safety form. All I need to do is tell it which table and submit. In the next step, I'm going to set some field values that are typically filled out on a new form. I'll test this as a big issue in Chicago. And along with picking literal values, I can also reuse values from previous steps. In this case, I'm going to assign it to Luke by using this icon and referencing the user I impersonated in step one. That way, if I change the user in step one, this step is automatically updated. Very powerful. Then it's time to tell the test to submit the form. Not much to do here, but click Submit. Finally, it's time to validate that the inspector field was looked up properly from the data lookup table I created back in episode 10. I tell it what values I expect. If they're correct, the test passes. Otherwise, the test fails and I know that I have an error in my data lookup. A quick save and I'm ready to run the test. Here, ATF is prompting me to start a client test runner. This is to allow the system to interact with my browser the way it would with a manual test. I can see the test running. And when it's done, I go back to my ATF window and see that all the test steps succeeded. When I click Go to Result, I get additional details including screenshots as the test ran. And down here in the related list, I have even more details about how the test ran. Everything looks great. I can easily create additional tests to validate the functionality of other parts of my application. Anytime I want to run these tests, I can simply click a button and know that my app is going to perform as expected. I can group multiple tests into a test suite and run them all together with a single button click. This is much faster, consistent, and reliable than testing the functionality manually. And when I'm ready to upgrade to the latest release of ServiceNow, I can quickly run the same test to ensure that the app will work, making my upgrade time much shorter than doing the same test manually. You can find out more about Automated Test Framework by visiting the product documentation page listed here. I also invite you to visit developer.servicenow.com to get a free developer instance to try the concepts demonstrated in this video and learn more about building business applications fast on ServiceNow. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series to be a more effective ServiceNow developer. Thanks for watching.